we have in the news. A woman reportedly killed the victim with the victim's knife. Female teen detained after Clarendon got gone find. Woman accused of killing lover. And now for the news. Following an altercation in Spalling, Clarendon, on Friday, one woman is dead, another has been taken into police custody. Jardine Grant, 26, has been named as the dead. According to police reports, the accused was on the way home at around 2.15 p.m. when Grant pounced and threatened to stab her to death. Following a struggle, the defendant was able to take Grant's weapon and attack her with the same knife. Grant was transported to the hospital where doctors declared her dead. Up until December 12, 91 killings have been reported in the parish of Clarendon. The number indicates a 10.8% decrease or 11 fewer murders as compared to 102 murders for the same period in 2021. Also, female teen detained after Clarendon gun find. Three persons were detained when a lady and a teen were found with an illegal handgun in a laundry basket at their Hayes Clarendon home today. Following a joint police military operation at around five in the morning, the two men and another guy were detained for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, according to the police. According to police sources, a black Taurus pistol with a magazine holding seven nine millimeter bullets were found in a clothing basket inside a closet during a targeted search of the property. Four more 9mm bullets were found after extensive inspections of the location. The accused are still being held while police conduct additional inquiries. Next also was a woman accused of killing her lover. Shakira Brailsford has been accused by the Spanish Town Police in St. Catherine of killing her 35-year-old partner. Tashos Honigan, a builder from March Penn Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, has passed away. The 26-year-old Brailsford was charged on Friday after question and answer period. According to reports, Brailsford and Honigan were at home on December 13 at around 5.50 a.m. when they got into a heated dispute and turned physical, resulting in Hannigan being stabbed in the chest with a ratchet knife. According to reports, he apparently fell to the ground bleeding from the chest and was later declared, declared dead at the hospital. After turning himself into the Spanish Town Police, Brailsford was first detained on suspicion of murder before being prosecuted. Guys. Kindly remember to do the right thing and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel, for watching my YouTube video. And I will see you back here on my next YouTube video.